Hey guys, it's Linux next year. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to set up HDR on Linux when it comes to the gaming side without needing to use GameScope whatsoever. Now, before this video starts, a lot of the things that I'll be mentioning probably will be out of date within a couple of months from now, I would say. Uh, just a lot of the projects that are being worked on uh, when it comes to the Wayland development, there's a lot of it happening. So if you're watching this tutorial, uh, it might be marked as outdated, which means that everything that I've talked in this video is now merged and you no longer need to be using these custom runners or the specific package to get HDR uh, working when it comes to the gaming side. So if you don't know, Proton 10 beta did release today and it has a big list of patch notes for a lot of things getting fixed and updated to newer versions of the dependencies that are used in Proton. And of course, that is awesome to see. Uh, more updates, more game fixes, that is what we need as, you know, when it comes to gaming on Linux. But the main thing that people were waiting for, including me when it comes to Proton 10, is, well, they rebase to Wine 10. If you scroll down all the way down here, it says rebased Wine on top of Wine 10.0. And well, what does Wine 10.0 mean? Well, it means that Wayland can be used with the experimental Wayland driver that is in Wine. Now, the Wayland driver is not enabled by default yet, and it actually does have a lot of uh, weird little quirks to it, and there's a lot of things missing when it comes to the Wayland driver. And so that's why it's marked as an experimental driver. But the weird thing is that Valve has kept this experimental Wayland driver disabled in the Proton 10 beta release. So you can't use any environment variables to get the Wayland driver working. It's just disabled when they compile it or build the Proton release. And so since you can't enable the Wayland driver, you can't enable HDR on Linux through the Wayland driver, because if you don't know, the Wayland driver supports HDR uh, just because Wine supports it, so it's able to actually work properly. So what happened today is uh, I went and searched around to try and find, uh, well, a runner that is using a one, a Proton 10 or a Proton Bleeding Edge version uh, that is including the Wayland driver by default, since Proton 10 does not include it. So I did did find the TKG builds, which is by the Froggen family. Uh, if you don't know, they have a couple of different uh, Proton runners that people like to use when it comes to the more bleeding edge side of uh, Proton or Wine. And they do include a Proton TKG, uh, you could say Git build that includes the Wayland driver. And as you can see here, it also includes the NT-Sync driver if you want to use that. So that is the first thing that we need is that runner. I'll link this down below uh, and we can click on this link here and it will lead us to a artifacts where we can download this build by clicking download Proton TKG uh, build. If we click download, it's going to save it wherever you want to download it and after you downloaded the dot zip we want to extract it there's going to be a dot zip and a dot tar that we need to extract so we need to extract both of them until there is just a folder as you can see here is the folder and we want to copy this or you can cut either one and we're going to enable hidden files which you can enable on dolphin pretty easily and the next thing we're going to do is go to Steam, Steam, and then we go to compatibilitytools.d, and we are going to paste it in this folder. And then if you have Steam open, restart Steam. If you don't, then you want to launch Steam so we can actually use it uh, on the game that you want to use Proton on. Now, before you can actually use HDR on that Proton runner and enable the Wayland driver, we are going to need one more package because something is missing, which is the color management protocol in the actual user space drivers for Wayland and HDR to work properly. Because right now, as you can see, it was merged two months ago. So I'm pretty sure it did miss the Mesa 25 release. And so we have to wait till Mesa 25.1, which is releasing this month sometime. Some things may be outdated, but for now we have to use the VK HDR layer KWIN6 Git. We have to use this on both KDE Plasma and GNOME because it's not just made for Kwin, uh, it is a Vulkan 
uh, thing for the color management. So it can work on GNOME also. And stated by the Arch Wiki, you have to use this if you're on GNOME 48 or above because that supports HDR. So if you're on Arch, you can get it from the AUR. If you're on Fedora, I did find a copper repo which you can grab, which was built two months ago. So it probably still works perfectly fine. Uh, if when it comes to like Debian or Ubuntu users, I couldn't find a link for that. So sorry. But if you are on Fedora or Arch or any based on, you should be able to get this package pretty easily. Then after you get that package installed, you need to restart your computer. And then we can actually use that Proton Runner and enable the Wayland driver and plus enable HDR on the monitor so that you can use HDR for gaming. So on KDE Plasma, we're going to open up our KDE settings and we are going to enable HDR. And this is where you can fit around with the sRGB color intensity, the SDR brightness. And after you configured all that, we can then actually open up Steam. So for example, something like Witcher 3, we're going to properties on that game. And then we are going to uh, copy and paste a launch command that I have linked down below, uh, which is the launch command to get the Wayland driver running and HDR. So display equals zero is the uh, environment variable for forcing Wayland and then dxvk underscore hdr is to enable hdr dxvk and then the hdr wsi is to get the actual hdr to work properly with like the Wayland protocols in a sense and some of you may comment down below and go hold on uh isn't it in wine you're supposed to use uh display and then uh, equals nothing or just display uh, because it's supposed to be unset. Well, if I do that, the game won't launch. So I have to do display equals zero uh, or yeah, the game won't launch properly. Then we go to compatibility and we set the uh, TKG Proton build, which then will force it on the game. So if we do click play on The Witcher 3 because it does support HDR, and as you can see, the red launcher is launched. And one way to know if you're using Wayland is, well, you can test with your three uh, and see on the red launcher, your cursor is not your system cursor. Uh, it is the Wayland cursor that is being used right now, which is some default cursor within Wine. Uh, so that's one way of knowing if the uh, Wayland driver is working properly. Then if we click play, you'll see uh, more information that uh, it is working under the Wayland driver. Like if you set it in window mode, it gives a uh, rather nice uh, windows theme to it uh, where it has like the name at the top left and then it has the close minimize and the maximize buttons which look really old uh, that is another way of knowing and then to know if hdr is working properly you can see uh, and i'm pretty sure this will be displayed across with the capture uh, we can see with mango hud the colors look extremely bright and colorful uh, that is one way to know if hdr is working if you don't have the vk hdr layer package installed what is going to happen is the colors are going to look extremely washed out and they won't look properly on your monitor so all you have to do is uh, go to video go to hdr settings and then you can configure the actual hdr settings itself and another game we can test out is Overwatch 2. That is another game that supports uh, HDR, surprisingly. And again, you do the exact same launch commands and the exact same runner that you force the compatibility on. Now, on Overwatch 2, uh, you can see that uh, there is a bug, I would say, and that is Manga Hard looks really desaturated, while the actual game uh, doesn't look um, desaturated. It looks nice and saturated, I would say. And we can just go into options here and then go enable HDR, open up the calibration tool and then configure until you barely see uh, the logo on the game. And that is it. Uh, HDR is now working for you. Uh, when it comes to uh, about NVIDIA users also, we'll have to wait to see if NVIDIA updates their driver for the color management. They might already actually include the color management protocol. If they do, uh, definitely leave a comment down below so everyone knows what driver you need to use or above for the color management protocol. But when it comes to the Mesa side, which is AMD, Intel, and NVK, if you're using the fully open source NVIDIA drivers in Mesa, uh, you're gonna need to wait for Mesa 25.1 to release so that we don't have to use this package. And then you're going to have to wait for Proton or Valve uh, to enable the Wayland driver within Proton 10, which hopefully uh, by like, I don't know, maybe Proton uh, releases with Proton 10 fully, instead of being in a beta, maybe uh, they'll enable the Wayland driver in an experimental mode like it is on Wine, and you won't have to use the Proton TKG runner 
to get things like the Wayland driver working or HDR working with the Wayland driver. And the last thing uh, that maybe some Windows users might come in and ask, uh, I've seen it a couple of times, uh, is there a auto HDR mode uh, for Linux when it comes to the gaming side of things. And no, the, that feature is not available right now. Uh, in Linux, it's only games that officially support HDR. Uh, as I know, the auto HDR likes to apply like a fake HDR over games. So that's why it's called like auto. And probably on games that do support HDR, it um, does it already for you automatically. So you don't have to like muck around with things when it comes to the HDR actually in the game. But and I bet at some point, uh, Linux will probably support this thing. It probably isn't really that difficult to uh, add a feature like that it probably is difficult to add it but when it comes to how long it will take for that feature to be added i bet it probably wouldn't take that long uh, to arrive in the linux desktop i would say so that is the conclusion for how to get HDR uh, working when it comes to the gaming side without needing to use GameScope uh, whatsoever. I would like to know your thoughts about this whole situation. Uh, it's not really that bad, I would say. Within a couple of months from now, uh, this video will be irrelevant and you won't need to use uh, those certain packages. You won't need to use a custom Proton runner. Uh, the Wine Wayland driver, I bet, will be in a lot better state that Proton or Valve will actually consider enabling it maybe in proton so if you guys did enjoy this video definitely give it a like definitely subscribe to the channel and thank you to my supporters i'll show a text across the screen right now thank you for giving me money every single month i really do appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace